Hello, friends. Welcome to Talk About Fans People. My name is Sergeant Host Eric of the Type Police. And this is, in fact, another episode of Type Police. Here at the Type Brighty checkpoint, I've stopped uh, a young man who claims, purports to be, an ENTP. I'm a little skeptical. And, you know, the reason is, no matter how dark my aviators, I can always see through your type lies. But, let's give him a chance. Let's see. Here we go. So I like the way he starts the video. I watched the first five seconds or so of this, and he starts it like an ENTP would. Absolutely wild, let's just say that. It's chaotic, but... Oops. You know, I wouldn't... Go back to the very beginning. So what's it like being an ENTP? Yeah, this is fun. Absolutely wild, let's just say that. It's chaotic, but, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for anything else, to be honest. I like a chaotic lifestyle. It keeps me active. It keeps me, it keeps me alive. And I think that, you know, what Can we lack in organization would make up for spontaneity. And All right, so, sir, you're talking about some kind of action function. But right now, you're not giving me any reason to think that you actually are using extroverted intuition. Could easily be extroverted sensing you're talking about here. So, I'm gonna need to take you downtown and ask you a few questions. Let's see. An improvisation, so, like this video, for example. I didn't, I didn't plan this video. I'd rather go off from the dome. Because quite frankly, I think that's where we excel at. Improvising and coming up with ideas and generating all sorts of ideas, yeah. True. We might lack a plan, but, I mean, we plan, but the planning is done in our heads. It's a mental thing. Isn't all planning mental? The majority of the time, my brain is constantly buzzing with ideas. I don't have time to organize my room. Um, I think the way it works is we have a set list of priorities and the mundane things in life, like washing up mm -hmm. dishes and cleaning our room and, you know, There's no more wheat. Just general mess is right. something right. that is not a priority for right. us. Because right. if we know where everything is, then why change Here. it? Unless obviously it gets messy. Well, not messy, but generally generally unlivable. Then yeah, we will do something about it. And my word, do we do something about it? We will clean the whole place until it's spotless. But. It's not like we're going to do that on a maintenance level. We'll do that, you know, maybe once or twice a month it's good, if it gets unbearable. <laughs> but I think as long as we know where everything is, I, I could tell right away you know, before I even started this video. Things that when we're we, working on. We started the video with a cigarette like that. Transition from that to doing something, I was you know, that we already perceive insane. as trivial. He's probably to other types. It may seem very important. They can't work in a cluttered desk, but I actually quite like it. I like knowing that, you know, well. I don't mind it, I can still work in an environment like this, it's not a big deal, so. Yeah, I think ENTPs aren't an organized type. But we're spontaneous at the end of the day. And, you know, spontaneous people tend to adapt well. I mean, I think that's another positive trait of an ENTP is we're adaptable. We can fit into an environment that other people may, you know, find difficult to adapt now, to. I haven't actually heard anything to indicate that he's not saying ENF. Be it a social setting. But he definitely seems like a, a You know, I it's know, uh, a workplace. We fit in. We and I would suggest friends, it's likely he's ENTP because he seems FE. Sort of work our way in, and I think that's a good thing. But I haven't really heard a lot of TI but, yet. Obviously, every good thing has its negative traits. Every positive has its negative at the end of the day. We can't we can't all be perfect, but I think spontaneity and adaptability is a good thing. Now another thing about being an ENTP is when it comes to conversations, most people who just sorry about my phone, I'll leave that over there. Some people who are 
having a conversation with us might just, just want to have a conversation at the end of the day. Just they might just want to know how our day is going. You know, general conversation, small talk, so to speak. But if that conversation gets going, we tend to turn a normal conversation into some form of bloody phys phil philosophical discussion out of, I don't know, curiosity. I think cur curiosity definitely killed the cat with ENTPs. Like, we, we are curious people. We love to discuss ideas that most people may find boring. Again, I still really haven't we heard anything definitive to say ENTP it politics, here. It's philosophy, it's science, largely. literature, anything. Any I mean, we don't master any of these with things, some but FE, though, we usually have an ENTP. argument that we believe, well, we don't necessarily believe in it, we don't really believe in anything, like, as a, as a, as a truth, that's as a truthful concept, but strongly suggests the ENTP. we'll argue yeah. back and forth, because that's what we like to do, we like to look at things from all different sides, and I think it's good to do that, but you can annoy a lot of people when you don't actually have a perspective on things. I mean, I do have some cool perspectives, but I don't ever see that as truth, I always like to visualise and pick apart every single argument. That's it's ignoring like right that. He doesn't argument. even realize how much he is for it. True. I think that most of us are, try to be governed by logic rather than emotion. So. I'll give him a little bit more, but I. I more mean, than yeah, not, agree with really, I should just wave his ass through. At the end of the argument. If, yeah, no, if that argument uh, was logical. I think it if was. We said, if we said it Ali B, who said. And then we pointed out that into the ISP female was the first one I just waved through. Well, this guy's another way through. And I think that just by nature, by the way we think, if we find flaws in the way in our previous point, which was just, you know, something that we randomly said and someone came up with a different point that was better than that, we'll, we'll often use that point to argue against ourselves. It's pretty funny. It's an um, <laughs> and I like that Absolutely. because you really tackle subjects There's and you really not get to any it. doubt about it. So, congratulations to the unconventional journey. You are an actual ENTP. You're not an ESTP, <laughs> and you're not an ENFP. You are an ENTP. And I, I, I wonder if you've continued making videos or if you just said, eh, you only got 69 subscribers. Uh, you stopped two months ago. <laughs> like, did you just be like, eh, fuck this, or what? Or you, you didn't even say that, you just sort of stopped. And kind of felt bad, and kind of felt like you should be doing it, but then you just go, yeah, mom. He needs a girlfriend that helps him to follow through. Oh, look at his great orange curtain, though. He only has five videos. Well, maybe this video will motivate you to make more videos. It's good for us to make videos. We actualize externally. We need to... <coughs> I need to an audience. If we don't have an audience, it doesn't count for anything. So, uh, there's a little old ENTP advice to you, young ENTP. Also, smoke like an American. Don't hold it between your thumb and <coughs> forefinger like that. It's a little bit gay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese. And be careful out there on the roadways of typology. Remember, the type police are always waiting. <laughs>